Now, if the question asks is, x is what percent of y? Simply, the required percentage is x upon y into 100. x is what percent of y? If it's asked x is how much percent more or less than y than y x is how much percent more or less than y the required percentage is big of minus smaller upon what all is done into 100 what all is done that's the denominator y bigger minus smaller upon than into 100 now let's say we're supposed to calculate 24 upon 192 into 100 What all we do is, we know 24 eights are 192, so we get the answer as 12.5%. But if someone does not know how to solve, let's say that person does it, and the answer is 12%. Actual answer is this thing. But by doing approximation, we got this. To get actual answer, actual is 12.5. To get actual answer, this answer should be increased. Now what all we did? Denominator actual was 192. And we made round figure 200. And we solved it. But to get the actual answer, this answer should be increased. The simple concept is, if denominator is increased, if we increase the denominator, and solve the question, answer should be increased. What all I mean? Let's say we are supposed to solve 11 by 99 into 100. We know it's 1 by 9 into 100, 11.11%. But if someone does it, increasing the denominator, answer is 11%. To get actual answer this thing, this answer should be increased. If we increase the denominator and solve the question, answer should be increased. To get the actual answer, this answer should be increased. Denominator was 99, we made it 100. Let's say, if we're supposed to find out, if we're supposed to find out, let's say, 13 upon 104 into 100. 13 is what percent of 104? We know it's 1 by 8 into 100. That is 12.5%. But let's say someone does it 13 by 100. Denominator, he makes it round figure. This is the actual answer. To get the actual answer, this answer should be reduced means if we in de reduce the denominator and we solve the question after getting the answer answer should be reduced if we reduce the denominator and solve the question answer should be reduced. 
if we reduce the denominator and we solve answer should be reduced. For example, let us say if it is asked 15 by 105, we know it is 1 by 7 that is 14.28 percent. But if someone solves it by making it 100, we have reduced the denominator and we have solved it to get the actual answer this answer should be reduced so let's say if we have to calculate 1 2 5 6 what is 100 percent of the number 100 percent is same thing out of same thing if we need 10 percent of this, simply it is one decimal shift. One percent of this number is 12.56. Hundred percent is same number, 10 percent is one decimal shift. One percent, two decimal shift. So, if I have to calculate 3760, 22% of this, so one way is 3760 into 22 by 100, and knowing the table of 22, 22 6 are 132, 13 remaining, 154 and 13, 154 and 13, 167, 16 remaining, 22 3 are 66, 66 and 16. Other way is three seven six zeros. Ten percent is three seventy six. So twenty percent will be into two. That is what we get here is seven fifty two. Three seven six zeros. Ten percent is three seventy six. Twenty percent will be into two. Now this is twenty percent plus we need two percent. If 20% is 752, 2% will be 20% divided by 10. So divided by 10. If 20% is this, 2% will be divided by 10. So 20% plus 2%. I repeat quickly. We need a 376 zeros, 22%. One way is solving it into 22 upon 100. Other way is 3760, 10% of that is 376. Into 2 will make it 20%. If 20% is this, 2% will be divided by 10. 20% plus 2% we get this thing. Let us say we are supposed to uh, solve 24 by 192. We solve it by making 24 by 200. We get the answer here 12. But actual answer will be what? How to solve that part? We know we have increased the denominator to get actual answer. This answer should be increased. But by how much? Denominator was 192 and we have made it 200. Denominator was 192, we made it 200. Now, if we make 192 200, nearly we have increased by 8. Now, 192's 1% 1 is 1.92 close to 2, 2 fours are 8, so we have nearly increased approximately by 4 percent, approximately by 4 percent. What all we did, we will have a quick check. We were supposed to solve 24 by 192, 
assuming we don't know the table, we did 24 upon 200. We solved it 12 percent. If we increase the denominator and we solve, answer should be increased. But now the question is by how much? It was 192 which we made 200. 192 to 200 we have increased by 8. Now 192 is 1% is 1.92. 2 decimal shifted close to 2. 2 fours are 8. So we have increased the denominator nearly by 4%. So if I change the denominator by 4%, answer should also be changed by 4%. Question was 24 upon 192 into 100. We just saw denominator increase is nearly of 4% and we got the answer. This answer should also be changed by the same percent. If we increase denominator by X percent, answer should also be increased by X percent. So, 12's 1 percent is 0 0.12. So 4% will be 0.48. Now as we know it's very approximate. So we will get plus 0.48. Very very close to 12.5 the actual answer. I repeat. We were supposed to solve 24 by 192. We did 24 upon 200. We got the answer 12%. We know if we increase the denominator by x percent, answer should also be increased by x percent. 192 to 200 near 4 percent increase, so answer should also be increased by 4 percent. 1 percent of 12 is 0 0.12, so 4 percent will be 0 0.48, so very close to 12.5. Let's say we are supposed to calculate 376 is what percent of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3. This is what percent of this. What we do is we'll make it by solving denominator, we make a round figure and we solve it. 12 threes are 36, remaining 1. 12 ones are 12, 12 threes are 36, 12 threes are 36. Now this is the answer after reducing the denominator. We have reduced the denominator from 1 to 1, 3 to this thing. So the answer should also be reduced by how much? We have reduced the denominator from this to this nearly by 30. Now 1, 2, 1, 3 is 1% 1 is 12.13 very close to 30. So denominator is reduced very close to 1%. So answer should also be reduced close to 1%. 31.33 1% 1 is nothing but 0.31. So very close to minus 0.3. So we get answer is very very close 31%. I repeat quickly what we did. We were asked to solve this is what percent of this. We make it round figure. Denominator we make round figure. And we get the answer. If we reduce the denominator and we solve it, answer should be reduced. But exactly by how much? 1, 2, 1, 3 is reduced to 1200. It's reduced by 13. Now 1, 2, 1, 3 is 1% 1 is 12.13. Very close to 13. So it means very close to 1% we have reduced. So answer should also be reduced close to 1%. Answers 1% 1 is 0 0.3. 
So we reduce by 0.3, we get this. Now let's say we are supposed to solve 187 is what percent of 932? We know it's very close, but how do we work out? Look, if someone does it, 180 upon 900, it's 1 by 5, 20 percent. Very close to the answer, but we, how do we get exact answer, accurate answer? Close to that is there. Now let's say, we do it, 187, 187 upon 900 into 1. We solve it. 9 2 is 18, 9 0 is 9 7 is 63, 9 7 is very close to 20.7 percent. But we have done denominator. What all we have done here is denominator was 932 and we have made 900. So denominator is reduced by 32. Now 932's 1% is 9.32. We can say it's nearly 9. So now 9 3s are 27, 9 4s are 36. So if I have reduced by 32, I have reduced by nearly 3 to 4 percent. In between of 3 to 4 percent, I repeat what I said. Question asked was 187 upon 932. We have made denominator round figure 900. Denominator from 932, we have made 900. We have reduced by 32. Now what is 1% of 932 is 9.32 that is nearly 9. 9 3s are 27 so if reduced by 27 it's nearly 3% 9 4s are 36 so if I reduce by 32 it's in between 3 to 4 percent if we reduce the denominator and we solve if denominator is reduced and solved, answer should also be reduced by the same 3 to 4 percent. Now, what is 1 percent of this number? 1 percent of this number is 0 0.20. So, 3 percent will be 0.6 and 4% will be 0.8. So in between that, we reduce, let's say by 0.7. Question was 187 upon 932. We reduce the denominator to round figure. 932 to 900, we have made 32 difference. Nearly 3 to 4% of number, this is just approximate. We don't need to be very particular about the calculation. So what all answer we get? We need to reduce by 3 to 4 percent. 1 percent of the answer is 0 0.2. 3 percent will be 0 0.6. 4 percent will be 0 0.8. So we need to reduce between 3 to 4 percent. Let's say this. So answer is 20 percent. Very close to now let's see, someone did it, question was this, and someone did it, round figure 1000. Answer comes 18.7. But if we increase the denominator, answer should be increased. But by how much? We have increased the denominator 932 to 1000 by 68. 932's 1% is 9.32, nearly 9, let's be very approximate here, 9 7's are 63, 9 8's are 72, 
so we can say nearly 7 to 8 percent nearly 7 to 8 percent was reduced so answers 7 to 8 percent answers 1 percent is 0.18 nearly 0.2 so nearly 7 percent of that into 7 1.4 Approximation, these are new con concepts, so they may take time for you to understand. 187 upon 932 into 100. We make it denominator round figure 1000. We get the answer. We have increased the denominator and we have solved, so answer should be equals. But by how much? Denominator from 932, we have made 1000. We have increased by 60. What is 1% of 932? 9.32, nearly 9. 9 sevens are 63, 9 eights are 72. So we need to increase the answer by nearly 7 to 8 percent. Now what is the answer? 1 percent, 0.18, nearly 0.2. So 7 percent will be 0.14, added by 1.4. So we A lot of practice will be needed, a lot of table mugging up will be needed. What we did 932 to 1000, nearly 68, nearly 932 7%. So answer what all we get, we need to increase by 7%. It's very close to the actual answer. Now let's say we are supposed to calculate 3612 is what percent of 2, 1, 3, 1, 2. Now, if we go 4000 upon 20,000, it's going to be a very crude guess. So let's say we do it upon 21,000 and we solve it. 21 ones are 21, remaining is 15. 21 sevens are 147, remaining 5. 21 twos are 42, remaining 10 nearly 5. So what we get here is 17.25. But if we have reduced the denominator from this to 1, 3, 1, 2 to 21,000. We have reduced by 3, 1, 2. 2, 1, 3, 1, 2. 1% 1 of that is 2, 1, 3 and 2% is 426. So nearly it's 1.5%. Nearly 1 and a, it's approximate. 1% 1 is 200, 2% 400, this is 3%, 300. So this answer should be reduced by 1.5%. Now answers 1% is 0.17. Point one seven and two percent will be point three four. So nearly we can say point two five approx is there. So answer will be so. Question was three six one two upon two one three one two. What we did? We make the denominator round figure this to this. We have reduced the denominator by nearly two hundred something. If one percent of the number is two hundred. 2% of this number is 400, so it's very close to 1.5%. So what all answer we got, we need to reduce it by nearly that percent. 1% of the answer, 2% of the answer, double of that obviously, in between that, so answer will be accepted. Let's say someone did it other way. 3, 6, 1, 2 upon 2, 1, 1, 2. 2, 1, 3, 1, 2. Now, assuming that someone does not know the table of 21, so he makes it 20,000. It's 2, 1, 3, 1, 2 is made 20,000. So, reduced by 1. 
3, 1, 2. 2, 1, 3, 1, 2. 1% 1 of the number is 200 something. We have reduced by 1300. 200, 6, 1278. It's nearly by 6%. Simply how we guess it. Denominators 1% is close to 200. 200, 6, 1200. So close to 6% we have reduced. Let's solve it first. We divide by 2. We get 18.6. We have reduced the answer by 6%, denominator by 6% reduced, so answer is 6%. Now what is 1% of the answer? What is 1% of the answer? 0.18, very close to 0.2. So let's say 6%, 1.2. So we get close to 16.9%. I repeat, uh, 21,000, we made it 20,000, nearly we have reduced it by 1,300, 1% 1 of the number is 200, so close to 6%, we have reduced close to 6%, so answer should also be reduced to what all we got by 6%, I'm so sorry, it was 18.6 we reduce by 6% of that close to this is 1.2 so what all we get here is 17.4% well let's say we are supposed to calculate 2871 is what percent of 10327. So now roughly let's say we make it 2871 upon 10,000. 28.71 percent but we have reduced the denominator from 10,327 to 10,000 by 327. Now 1% of this number is 103 close to 100 so into 3 300 we can say 103 3 is 309 so close to i have reduced by 3 percent so what all answer is there answers 1 percent is 0.28 you can call it 0 0.3 nearly so 3% of that 0.9. So we get 27.8. It was 2871 upon 10327. We make it round figure 10,000. We have reduced the denominator from this to this. Nearly by 327. 1% of this number is 103.7 nearly 103 103 are so 3% is nearly that's how we guess it 100 threes are 300 approx guess so nearly 3% I have reduced what all answer I got that answer I have to reduce by 3% Answers 1% is 0.28, nearly 0.3, so 3% is 0.9, so we get 27.8%. Now let's say the question is, what percent of 6123 is equal to 1000? So simply let's say x percent of 6123 is equal to 1000. So what do we get x as? What question is 1000 is what percent of this thing? 
what percent of 6, 1, 2, 3 is 1000? Let's say it's x percent of this. So simply question is 1000 is what percent of this? How we do it is we get 1.1 1 .1 by 6 is 16.66 percent. But we have done 6, 1, 2, 3, 6000. We have reduced by 123. 6, 1, 2, 3 is 1% 1 is 61. 2% will be 122. So answer also, what all answer we have got, we need to reduce the answer by 2%. Now what is 16.661% is 0.16 so 2% will be 0.32 so 0 0.3 so we get 16.3 I repeat quickly the question was what percent of 6123 is absent? Let's say it's x percent of this is 1000. So x thousand is what percent of this? Six one two three we made six thousand. We have reduced it by one twenty three. Six one two three is one percent is sixty one. Two percent is one twenty two. So nearly we have to reduce the answer also by two percent. One percent of the answer is point one six. Two percent is point three two. So this reduced by this. Simply the question was, when we see what percent of 6, 1, 2, 3 is 1000, we know 1 6 of 6000 is 1000. So you know it's close to 16.66 but accurate we have found. Now well, let's say the question given is find 48% of 6187. How do we do it? Is we know 48% of something is 50% minus 2%. 6187 50%. That is half of that is 3193. 3193.5 minus 6187's 2% we know 6187's 1% is 61.8 87 is a roughly 8 in total so we get 123.6 approximately let's say we will call it as 0 0.5 we will make it round figure so we get I quickly repeat, we were supposed to calculate 48% of this. What we did, 48 is 50 minus 2. 50% 50 of anything is half of that thing, that is 3. I'm so sorry. What we need is 3, 0, 9, 3. That is the 50% of this, half of the number, minus 2% of that number. We need 2%, so 6187, 1% is 61.8, 2% into 2. Approximately this minus this, so what all we get here is 2976. 